Hello students, today we will study most important questions for board exams from chapter Organism and Population. I have made this questions chapter wise and now we are starting a question answer series for board exams. So this is the first video, so let's start. First of all, if we look at the starting page of the chapter on page 219, the first question that arises is, what are various level of biological organizations? So the first question that can be asked is, what are various levels of biological organizations? So the answer is given on the first page, that is macromolecules, cells, tissues, organs, individual organisms, population, communities and ecosystem are the levels of biological organization. So you should note the first question which is formed are on page number 219 that is what are various levels of biological organizations. Now if we move on to page 220 of the book that is the second page of the chapter organism and population the first question that arises is define ecology and name the four level of organizations that ecology is concerned with so the answer you will find it here that ecology is the subject which deals with interaction among organisms and interaction between organisms and its environment so this is the answer of define ecology and what are the four levels of organization in ecology? The answer is this organism, population, community and biome are four levels of biological organization. So this is the first question of page 220. Now, if we further move downwards on organism and its environment, so here two important questions of one marks arises. That are, number one, what causes annual variation in intensity and duration of temperature? So, what causes annual variation in intensity and duration of temperature? The answer to this question is rotation of Earth of earth around its own axis and rotation of our planet around the sun. So these two things tilt of earth on its own axis and rotation of our planet around the sun causes annual variation in intensity and duration of temperature. Now the third question that arises is what causes formation of major biomes such as deserts, rains, forest and tundra. What causes? Why there are different biomes in nature? The answer to this question is given here that is annual variation in precipitation and annual variation in intensity of temperature because there is variation in temperature and because there is variation in rainfall this causes formation of major biomes such as deserts, rainforests and tundra. Now, the diagram given here is also very important. So, let us look how a question can be asked from this diagram. From this diagram, a question can be asked like this. Mark the biome A, B, C, D given in the following figure. So, you are given a figure and you have to mark A, B and C. So, as you can see here, A a is grassland as you can see this it's the same shape that is of grassland then b b is temperate forest and c c is coniferous forest so you should remember all the major biomes on this diagram this can be asked now if we move further on page 221 the page number 221, then let us look what are important questions on page 221. The first question is, what are key elements that led to formation in physical and chemical conditions of different habitat? 
why there is different physical and chemical conditions in different habitat what are the elements that has led to this different conditions so this question is given right here in the ncrtc what are the key elements that has led to so much variation in physical and chemical conditions of different habitat and the answer is temperature water light and soil so these are the four condition temperature water light soil because of which there is variation in physical and chemical conditions of different habitat next question that can be asked is name abiotic and biotic component of ecosystem so here in this para this is given temperature water light and soil are abiotic factors whereas pathogens parasites predators and competitors are biotic factors of an ecosystem so these are two important questions from this para now let us look at the next question the next question is from major abiotic factors that is temperature the question that arises is name to habitat where average temperature exceeds 100 degree celsius so answer to this question is the thermal springs and deep sea thermo hydrothermal vents are the two habitats where temperature exceeds 100 degree celsius as you can see this line is given that thermal springs and deep sea hydrothermal vents here every temperature exceeds 100 degree celsius so this question can be asked from this para the next question which can be asked is name a plant which cannot grow in temperate countries so answer also this is given here mango tree do not grow and cannot grow in temperate countries so the answer is the plant which cannot grow in temperate countries is mango now let us look on page 222 so what are the important questions on page 222 so first important question on page 222 is what are stenothermal organisms and what are eurythermal organisms so the answer is given right here the eurythermal organisms are those organisms which can tolerate wide range of temperature whereas stenothermal organisms are those organisms which can tolerate only a narrow range of temperature now the third question which comes is name to physiological function affected by temperature in living organisms what are the two functions which can be affected by temperature in living organisms the answer is given right in this line that basal metabolism and kinetics of enzyme are two important functions that are affected by temperature so you can read this line kinetics of enzyme and basal metabolism activity are the physiological functions of living beings that are affected by temperature so from this para there are three important questions stenothermal eurythermal and question number 3 now if we further move to next factor that is water let us see what are the important questions first important question from water is how does water influence life of the plant so the answer is given right here that the productivity and distribution of the plants is affected by water so if there is less water the productivity of plant would be affected and the distribution of plant would be affected so these are the two properties of plant that are influenced by water the next question is of course how does quality of water differ in inland water sea water and hypersaline lagoons so what is different difference between quality of water in inland water sea water and hypersaline lagoons the answer to this question is given here that in hypersaline lagoons the salt concentration would be more than 100 whereas in inland it would be less than 5 
and in C the salt concentration would be 30 to 35. So the salt concentration varies in inland water, sea water and hypersaline lagoons. So this is the answer. Next question that comes is define sinohaline and urihaline. So the answer of this question that is question number 6 is given right here that is sinohaline are those organisms that can tolerate narrow range of salinity whereas urihaline are the organisms that can tolerate wide range of salinity. Now the next question that can be asked is Many freshwater animals cannot survive in marine environment. Explain. Why freshwater animals cannot survive in marine environment? The answer is given here. That freshwater animals cannot survive in marine environment or sea water because of the osmotic problems they would face. If we place a freshwater animal in seawater, they would lose water from their body and hence die. So these are the important questions from this para, water. Now let us look at important questions from light. The first important question from light is, name two activities of animals which get clues from diurnal and seasonal variation in light intensity. Or you can say, name two activities of animal that is dependent on light. So the answer is given right here. Foraging means search for food, reproductive activity and migratory activity of animals are dependent on light. The next question that is, name two activities of plant which is dependent on light. The answer is right given here. Photosynthesis and photoperiodism are the two activities of plant that is dependent on light. We know photoperiodism means the flowering of plant in response to light. So you can also write flowering. So now let us look at important questions from page 223. The first important question is among red, green and brown algae which is likely to be found in the deepest water. This question is given right here among red, green and brown algae which would be found in deepest water. The answer is red algae would be found in the deepest water because it can use the blue light that reaches deepest in water. So blue light it will reach deepest in water and this blue light can be used by red algae. So it is found in deepest water because it can use the blue light which reaches the deepest in water. The next question that arises is why does nature, how does nature and property of soil is different in different places vary? Why does nature and property of soil in different places vary? Why we have different soils at different places? The answer is given right here in the soil. The nature and property of soil vary in different places because number one, it depends on climate. Number two, it depends upon weathering process. And number three, it depends on the development of the soil. These three factors, the climate, the weathering process and the development of the soil causes, is the cause why the soil varies in different places. The next question is, name three factors which affect water holding capacity of soil. On what factors the water holding capacity of soil depends? The water holding capacity of the soil depends on soil composition, grain size and aggregation. Aggregation. This determines the water holding capacity of the soil. See, it is written, soil composition, grain size and aggregation determine the percolation and water holding capacity of the soil. So this, we leave these questions, but these are very important questions. Next question that come is, that can come is, name the factor on which vegetation of an area depend. The answer to this question is, pH, mineral composition, 
and topography determine the vegetation in the area so vegetation would depend upon the ph it would depend on the mineral concentration and it would depend on the topography so students this is the first part of most important questions for board of chapter organism and population i will upload the next part tomorrow if you have gained something from this video please subscribe to my channel ramji chopra like and comment